Hey there! My name is Gantare and in this tutorial I will explain how to do keyword research for SEO. Let's begin! Keyword research is an important part of any website's search engine optimization strategy. It is the process of finding the most relevant words or phrases that your target audience uses in search engines. Keyword research helps you understand your audience better, such as what they are looking for and how many people are searching for that type of content. Not only that, but you can also understand the best format to reach your audience. So, by finding the right keywords, you can produce better content and attract more visitors to your website. The keyword research process is pretty simple. Just follow our instructions in this video. We will start by brainstorming keyword ideas. First, think about some of the keywords that you would like to rank for. It can be your products and services or topics of your website addresses. These are the seed keywords, keywords that can act as a base to expand your content. For example, you have a business website selling backpacks and hikers are your target audience. You want hikers who are looking for a backpack to be able to find your website when they are doing an online search. So what type of keywords do you think they use? It can be hiking, backpack, backpack for hiking, hikers bag and other related terms. These are your seed keywords. Next, let's enter the seed keywords into a keyword research tool. There are various keyword research tools available online. Some are free, such as Google Search Console and Google Keyword, while others require you to purchase a plan, such as Ahrefs or SEMrush. Free tools are great for those who have just started building their website and their brand authority. But most free tools are limited in their data and features, even limiting the number of keywords you can check. So using a free tool can work when you don't have much content yet. As your website grows, you can invest in a premium SEO tool to expand your research. In this keyword research tutorial, I'll use Ahrefs, but you can still follow this video using your own tool. After logging into your keyword research tool, insert the seed keywords, separating them with commas. Since I use Ahrefs, we will use the Keywords Explorer feature. Most tools let you choose a specific search engine for your research. In Ahrefs, you can select Google, YouTube, Yahoo, Bing, and many more. Choose the search engine where you're hoping to rank. In addition to the search engine option, you can also change the research location. This option is important for content that targets a specific language or region. The Keyword Research tool will show important metrics related to the keywords. They are all important, but the two main ones to look into are Keyword Difficulty Keyword difficulty refers to how hard it will be for your keyword to rank. In Ahrefs, the keyword difficulty scale means from 0 to 10 it's easy, 11 to 30 medium, 31 to 70 hard, and 71 to 100 is super hard. If the tool you use does not have a keyword difficulty metric, Ahrefs offers a free keyword difficulty checker. You can also take a look at the search volume, which determines how many people are looking for this specific term. Most seed keywords have high volumes, but also high keyword difficulty. Sometimes you will find keywords that have lower difficulty scores, but also lower search volumes. So, if your website doesn't have a high authority or recognizable brand, prioritize keywords with low difficulty. But established brands can play around with keywords that have higher difficulty and search volume. If your seed keywords do not have high volumes and low keyword difficulty, go to related terms to find more options. Now that you have a list of keywords, you must ensure your content answers their intent. But what is search intent? Search intent is a user's primary goal when typing a query in a search engine. There are three main types of search intent. Informational. The information intent means your target audience is searching for information on a subject. This type of intent is often in the form of blog posts and articles. Navigational. The navigational intent is when the target audience is looking for a specific page or content. Transactional. The transactional intent indicates they're searching for a place to purchase a specific product or service. Now, you need to identify which keywords work for your website. Some of the elements to consider are 
type of website? Do you have a blog or an online store? For example, if you have a personal blog, transactional keywords might not be the best choice. Brand reputation or authority? Do you have a loyal audience? Are you known in your industry? In that case, keywords with higher difficulty might be an option. Target audience. Who should see your content? Goals. What are you hoping to achieve? Do you want to increase sales or have more followers? Once you answer these questions, you can determine the type of content you need to achieve your goals. Let's go back to our example. You have a website selling backpacks for hikers. Your sales are doing well and you want to start educating your customers about hiking. So you should look for keywords with informational search intent. Let's go back to the keyword research tool. After inserting the seed keywords and checking related terms, click on an individual keyword to see the SERP overview. SERP stands for Search Engine Results page, which are the pages users see after inserting their search terms. The SERP overview displays the top ranking websites for the keyword, so if you are hoping to rank using that keyword, these pages are your competition. Take a look at the content type of the top ranking pages. Is it informational? navigational or transactional. If you want to create an informative post, your best bet is to look for a keyword with the same intent in the top rankings. Under the related terms, there are a couple of high volume keywords with low difficulty, but you can also see some brand names such as North Face. These keywords mostly have transactional intent. To create an informative post, we can use more general terms, like best backpack brands. When you click on a keyword, you will find that most of the top ranking pages are articles or blog posts. Double checking the keyword on a search engine is also a good idea. For example, let's insert the keyword best backpack brands. We can see the type of snippets that show up and what is under the people also ask section. You can also use the related searches as secondary keywords. All this information helps you decide whether or not to use this keyword and the type of content you should create. Now that you have the keyword and content type, you have finished the keyword research process and it's time to start creating content. Make sure to include this keyword in your title, first paragraph, throughout the post and also on the meta title and description. Before we conclude this video, I want to share some tips that can be helpful during your keyword research process. First, new websites should start with long-tail keywords, as they have less competition. A long-tail keyword is a phrase that includes 3-5 to five words and is relatively more specific. They help build highly relevant content for your audience. Once you have established your authority, start working on high-volume keywords. Then, you can also analyze the keywords your competitors use. Doing this, you'll not only find keywords you can use, but also keywords that they're not using. Of course, this comparison only works for websites within the same industry with similar target audiences. With Ahrefs, you can use the content gap feature. Lastly, prioritize your audience's needs. Do not choose keywords simply because they have low difficulty levels and high search volumes. Ensure that the keywords are relevant to your website and audience. That is it. Now you know all about keyword research. If you like this video and find it helpful, don't forget to press like and share it with your friends and family. Press the subscribe button for more tutorials to help optimize your website. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will answer your questions right away. See you next time!